do our series on the basics of using SOLIDWORKS X-Design. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of creating a dashboard. A dashboard is the launch point for all the 3D Experience applications and where we'll start the day designing an X-Design. It's fully customizable. I'll give you tips on setting up dashboard widgets, tabs, and some of the tools and apps I use on a regular basis. In the long run, you'll want to customize the dashboard to suit your own needs. When you first log in, a default dashboard gets created automatically. I recommend just going to the drop down in the upper left hand corner of the screen and selecting Add a Dashboard. This will create an empty dashboard, which we can customize. We will name this dashboard X Design Training and leave Create an Empty Dashboard selected. As you can see, this gives us a blank canvas from which we can create a dashboard that meets our needs. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the compass. In the upper left hand corner of the screen, there are four quadrants in the compass. 3D modeling, social, informational, and simulation. Clicking on a quadrant will give us access to the apps related to that quadrant. The apps are listed below the compass. For our dashboard, we will start in the upper social quadrant. The first app we will add is our 3D space. Think of a 3D space as our engineering file folder. To add this to the dashboard, just drag and drop from our list of apps onto the dashboard. Once placed, we refer to the app placed in the dashboard as a widget. So this is our 3D space widget, which allows us to interact with our 3D collaborative spaces. 3D spaces are places where all of our data is stored. We can add collaborative spaces as needed. Think of this as our engineering file folder and each collaborative space as a project folder. For this training exercise, the default common space will be sufficient. The next widget we will place is our community app. Just drag and drop the 3D swim icon in the space next to the 3D spaces widget. Communities are areas where we communicate with our colleagues concerning our design. I like to think of it as a notes section in our project book. But instead of printing emails and filing them in a binder, we are storing them in real time in the community app. There are three information apps or widgets I like to add. They are web notes, basically my post-it board, feed reader, where I subscribe to my web feeds and blogs, and a calculator. That covers the Home tab. It contains the projects on which I'm working, communication with my colleagues, and my notes. Now let's add a second tab to our dashboard by clicking the plus side beside our Home tab. This tab will house our X Design widget and is the tab where we do all of our design work. Once the tab is added, simply click on the 3D quadrant of the compass and drag and drop the X Design widget onto the screen. The double arrow in the right hand corner of the widget will maximize it to the size of our screen. X Design is best run in its own tab. Let's add a third tab and drag and drop a full screen community view. In most cases, it's easiest to use the app on the home screen to see if there's anything new and a full screen view to interact, create posts, and contribute information. Now we have been adding widgets semi-permanently by dragging and dropping them onto the dashboard. Another method to interact with an app is to click on the icon, which will temporarily launch a widget full screen, allowing you to interact with the app and then close with the X in the upper right hand corner. You can create as many dashboards as needed. You can swap back and forth between dashboards and even share dashboards with your coworkers. This concludes our lesson on how to quickly set up and configure a dashboard. Please check any of our other videos on how to use SOLIDWORKS X Design.